All right, let's go to uh, what should be a really good non-conference game here coming up, Ole Miss and Tulane. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Ole Miss uh, currently uh, seven-and-a-half-point road favorites uh, at Yulman Stadium, home of the uh, Green Wave, uh, total 65. I mean, I, I I knew Tulane was just – had a great year last year, and I was on board with it. I know you had a lot of Tulane winners last year as well. I thought, though, there was some questions about, you know, some of the lost production for Tulane on both sides of the ball just a little bit. There was some concerns, like they lost some key pieces from last year. But, man, it didn't show up last week against South Alabama. That was a very, very big statement made by uh, yeah. Willie Fritz's Tulane squad. And I said, you know what? Shame on me. This team was just such a meal ticket last year for years truly. And many of us that were on them um, and that I said, yeah, no, I'm a little concerned. And I like South Alabama a lot coming into this year and they were catching a healthy number. And I'm like, that's not, I'm not betting, bat, betting against this Tulane team now for the foreseeable future after that uh, last week. Now becomes the question. I think they can hang in this game. I really do. I, I, I think we, we've seen Tulane. We saw what they did against USC uh, in yeah. the bowl game last year, toe to toe with a power five team. Now they get them at home. Like Ole Miss is actually going to Tulane for this game. Michael Pratt is sensational. Uh, and the thing that sometimes he would do is sometimes he would run with the football. And after his first or second read isn't there, uh, he would end up, you know, taken off, not going through his progressions more. I find that first game, he's grown even more uh, as a quarterback. He could have a spectacular season. That was what was supposed to be a pretty solid South Alabama Jaguars defense that uh, Michael Pratt and the Tulane offense had. And remember, Tajay Spears ain't there anymore. And he was such a huge part of that offense last year from the running back spot. But 37 points uh, on the board, 294 through the air for Michael Pratt. Uh, they were able to get good enough contributions running the ball from Makai Hughes um, in that game, but that passing game was on point. Uh, absolutely terrific. Jaquan Jackson was uh, outstanding. Lawrence Keyes, uh, Chris Brazel. Uh, I mean, lots of weapons still for this Tulane team. Now, what do we make of Ole Miss coming into this season? Uh, they in their first game at a route over Mercer, 73-7. to Obviously very impressive. I think defensively, you're going to see this old Miss team be solid. Uh, Jackson Dart, uh, actually it's funny because you saw Walker Howard, Spencer Sanders, and Jackson Dart all get playing time, largely because of the fact it was a blowout. But it, it sure seemed like Jackson Dart was going to be the guy uh, to be the uh, quarterback to start the season at the very least for uh, Ole Miss. Uh, and I expect him to be in there to begin uh, this uh, game here against uh, Tulane. Should be a fun game. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, it's a question of how far along has that uh, old Miss defense come from last year to this year. As you look at some of those results last year, C-Mac, I mean, 34 points allowed to Auburn, uh, 30 points to Bama, 42 to Arkansas, 42 to Texas Tech in the bowl game. I mean, they had some really rough defensive numbers last year, old yeah. Miss. I definitely think they're better this year, no question on that side of the football. But again, it's all relative. You're facing a uh, two-lane team that has explosiveness offensively, a two-lane team that has shown the ability to score points and their offense to work and function at a high level against a Power 5 school, like we saw in the bowl game against a USC uh, last year. Um, I think there's enough in this two-lane team to make this an ultra-competitive game. Uh, I like this home dog a little bit, especially now that it's 7.5 uh, across the board. What do you think here, Connor? Old Miss, two-lane. Yeah, Tulane, let's just get to it. You talked about, uh, man, they just dominated. You talked about Pratt was <laughs> unreal. Uh, I came out like, what, 14 to 15, or something like that. Four TDs. Defense, a little bit last year that could give it up, but did it there. Made some plays, bend but didn't break. Uh, against a pretty good South Alabama team that I think still going to be all right. Uh, Carter had a few picks that were in that were big in that game. You mentioned it Tulane. whether to go back to last year, you know, they beat up SMU, you know, bad. They beat up Cincinnati, beat UCF bad, uh, and then beat SC in that thriller. I, you know, Ole Miss He's getting talent here at, at Willie Fritz at Tulane. That's the important thing to point out. They got players, they got playmakers, they got speed. They've got athletes now. And you never said that years ago. Certainly when Curtis Johnson was there, remember it was a disaster, Tulane. 
Yeah, and I think they're going to score here. As good, you know, as talented as Old Miss is, uh, they're going to score on them. And I think Old Miss will get theirs. You know, this total is moving up. I agree. I think we see fireworks in this game. And I think Yulman Stadium is going to be popping crazy, uh, Babano, for this. And I got to be on Tulane here with the points. Yeah, I would agree with you with the total. It's going up for a reason. I mean, I, I do think Ole Miss's defense is better, but you're going from playing pretty much nobody, Mercer, to I think one of the best group of five offenses this could be in the country in terms of group of five teams, Tulane. That is how good their offense could be. Uh, and Tulane defensively, you know, it's going to be night and day for them too. South Alabama is more yeah. of a pedestrian offense, decent but not explosive uh, on that side of the football. And Ole Miss does have that explosive potential. Uh, with their offense this year. And Jackson Dart, look, it was Mercer, but Jackson Dart looked really good in that game. Obviously, that's going to be put to the test here. We'll see how he fares in this one.